Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Original Pink Fragrance Spritz by Soap and Glory. Um, I have seen this product forever and I always walk past it and I always think, what a cute package, what cute packaging. And then I, I've never, I've never gotten around to actually trying it um, until now. This is the only thing I picked up though. I didn't pick up any of the the body care products. I didn't pick up any shampoos or, or body washes or body scrubs. Uh, so anyway, I got home, I spritzed it on myself and I was immediately disappointed. For some reason, I got it in my head that this was going to be like a really grapefruit scented, you know, um, body spray. And I don't know where I got that impression from. I don't know if it's the, if it's the packaging, you know, for some reason it gave me the impression of grapefruit, but I was immediately disappointed. And then I notice right here, oh, it's rose and I don't know if you can see that rose and bergamot. And then I thought that can't possibly be the only two ingredients to this. So I went online and I looked and looked and looked and sure enough, it's rose and bergamot. And um, so I tried, you know, spritzing it throughout the day. And I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. Um, I, I'm not a big fan. I don't, I don't think I'm a big fan of bergamot. It doesn't bother me if it's in the melee, you know, if it's in like, if it's in a perfume, but there's a lot of other things in there with it, then it doesn't really bother me. But I've noticed that when bergamot is in a perfume and it has very few other ingredients, I tend not to like it. And honestly, if someone came to me and said, you know, make your own perfume, but one of the ingredients have to be rose and you can only have two ingredients, it would never occur to me to put rose and a citrus together. It just wouldn't. Um, I would go with rose and lavender. I would go with rose and patchouli, rose and sandalwood, rose and white tea. S probably rose and lavender would be my pick. It would never, I, I, citrus wouldn't be what I would pair with rose. And I, I just don't think I like it. It's not for me. Um, for me, I felt like ugh, it's it. The rose smelled a bit stale to me. There's something a bit stale about this scent to me. It just doesn't sit right. Um, I sprayed it on, and sometimes, you know, when I sniff it, sometimes I think, oh, it's not so bad. That's that's kind of kind of cute, you know, and then I go back for another sniff later and then that staleness hits my nose and, and it's, it's just not for me. Um, the interesting thing is I was kind of researching this and it looks like they have three, well, a total of three scents. There's Call of Fruity, Missed You Madly, and this one, Original Pink. And it seems like but they had an original before this. It looks like it's been reformulated, I guess, is what I'm struggling to say. And hold on, let me get my notes. Um, it looks like the the original, when it came out, it was kind of a fruity shepra. And it had bergamot, crushed green leaves, mandarin, rose, jasmine, violet, patchouli, oak, mo oak moss, and musk. And that sounds so lovely. I wish I could get my hands on that. And it was um, like a very fruity floral aroma. And, and I don't know. I, I don't know why they would reformulate it to only have two, um, just the rose and the, and the bergamot. I went online and you know, I read a lot of reviews and I saw a lot of people saying, you know, bring back the original, you know, bring back the old one. And I saw that they actually had like an actual perfume, not just a body mist, 
but like a perfume and like a glass bottle and everything, you know? And I guess that's no longer available. And honestly, you know, I was looking around and I saw the old pictures of this bottle where it used to be, um, it was still pink, but it was a solid pink. You couldn't see the liquid inside. It was a solid pink. The bottle was smaller and curvier, you know, kind of um, pear shaped towards the bottom. It was um, like a solid metallic pink with like little sh sparkles on it, tiny sparkles, you know, and then this part right here was more of a solid gray, but it still had that kind of, it was a solid gray. It wasn't shiny like this, but it had like the little, the little sparkles on it. Um, I'll try and get a picture up from you guys. I don't really know. How <laughs> I, I'm so bad with technology. I don't really know how to do that. So I will try and get that picture up for you, for, for you. Um, but it kind of sparked a memory because long ago, I'm talking maybe, I don't know, early 2000s, mid 2000s, I do remember seeing those old bottles. And like I said, they were smaller than this one. The design was different. And I think that was the one that had, you know, all the notes in it. That was the fruity Shepra, you know, type scent. Um, and I, I was on Amazon, you know, just kind of looking to see what I could find. And they had a picture of the old bottle and, you know, they had a negative review where they said, you know, I, this isn't what I ordered. The bottle that I got looks totally different and smells totally different. There was a bunch of people saying, you know, please bring back the old scent. You know, we don't like this one. Um, but there was also a lot of reviews where people were like, oh, I love this. This is so lovely. I like it, blah, blah, blah. So, um, it's, that's just kind of interesting, but, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of my final word on this one. It, it smells okay. You know, it smells nice. It's just not for me. Um, there's a staleness about it. Something that doesn't, just doesn't seem to sit quite right with me. And judging by the reviews, some people, some people felt the same way. A lot of people, you know, they didn't find the scent offensive. They just missed the old one. You know, the, the one with all the other notes and ingredients in it. And then there was other people who, who liked it, you know, who thought it was great and they loved it and they thought it was the best smelling thing they've ever smelled. So, you know, you can't go wrong. It's, I got this at Walgreens for about $7. So, you know, you can listen to all the reviews in the world, but when it comes down to it, you know, you really got to smell it with your own nose. Um, but I'm someone who likes really strong, heavy, kind of in your face scents. And, um, that, yeah, this wasn't for me. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Um, I hope you liked my video. Please press like and subscribe if you'd like to. And I'll see you next time. Bye.